Hi, Jonathan here. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to make an automation clip. Now you probably already know how to make one and that's fine. Um, you know, just find your object, right click, create automation clip. Thing is though, um, a lot of people have been asking me if you're using a non-native image line product, uh, sorry, or plugin, how do you, you know, get the thing to create an automation. So let's load up camel space here. It's just a clear preset user low pads filter. Now do this if you right click each individual plugin has its own sort of option for right clicking. So you don't have the option to create an automation clip within a non-native plugin. To do this, you need to make sure that the object is actually selected. So, this start off knob. I can't just click it. I need to make sure that it's been moved a little bit. So if you look at the uh, top there, it's got it at eight hertz. If I was to just move this up a little bit, it just makes sure that the object has become the focus of a selection a little bit like this if you were to select um, this you can say it becomes selected and this it becomes selected it's the same process but instead of just clicking it we need to make sure that we move it around a little bit um, so anyway make sure that you just move a tiny bit and then go to tools Tweet, automatic clip. Okay, that's how you do it with you know different options. Blah blah blah. So if we were to pay it, basically put the kick. I'll put it on the whole track to be honest. It's fine. Because I'm only really doing this as an example and it really yeah, whatever. And I want to edit that, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in and do that. Let's <sighs> reset that to that again. I hate it when it bugs out like that. Um, then just lay this back, and you'll see what I mean. see it's coming in there from a basically low pass. Um, another one I wanted to really show you is that you how to create automation clips from non-native plugins. Um, I guess that's it. Suppose while I'm on this video I, I should explain the importance of automation. Anyway, when you have a track, um, especially with trance and stuff like that and other similar genres you need to make sure that you use a lot of automation you don't have to automate everything but you want to create smooth transitions between um, you know, between parts and when I say a part I mean a set of, of blocks or sorry not blocks because we're not using blocks oh god damn it we miss them man it's, they still have it but you know trying to get out of the habit of using them because I guess you know I might have to not use them anymore because I really do like image lines at FL Studio. Anyway, buzz. So one part I personally mean four bars or eight bars. So several bars, four to eight bars, whatever, when you're making a change you don't want it to just go bam and straight in, like you don't want the baseline and then bam, a new instrument comes in after 8 bars and bam, a new instrument comes in 16 bars, you, 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 you don't just do that, you want to smoothly transition it and by doing that you use low pass filters and high pass filters, band pass filters and use automation to bring them in, um, you also use volume cutoffs, sorry volume cutoffs, I mean you see channel volumes and stuff like that and 
stuff like that to pregame and that's basically that okay. this video helps someone understand a little bit about automation and um, see you around